Yeah, it's got a little dog on there. This was called the Wizard, so it would it was a bike, and then if you needed a little power, you just pedal it, hit the start button, and that would start your engine. Eighty nine fifty. That's awesome. It is seasonal, but the the park is closed over there. But uh, over there is normally boats, boats of the fifties, and. Uh, Crime and Punishment Museum, including the Dark Ages. Yeah, buddy. All right, these are some, uh, look at this thing from the 50s. Trailer boat. Trailer boat. Because you got your boat up on top and then your camper down here. These are, uh, look in here, let's look in here. Look at these, these are snowmobiles. Let's go into showroom number three. Won't be doing a lot of talking on this. Lots of loud music in here. Should we go around this way? Yeah, I just was, huh? I was just kind of trying to avoid. Right, we'll, we'll, we'll go this way and then we'll kind of like this. Yeah, we'll go a little zigzag. Yeah. So this is uh, from uh, The Mask 2. Of course, The Knight Rider. The Kit 2000, which was uh, a 1983 Pontiac Trans Am. Look at that. This was one of my dream cars when I was a kid. I think every kid wanted a Knight Rider. Or a time machine. <laughs> From Back to the Future. Look, they even got the uh, Mattel hoverboard here. But there is the, the world famous flux capacitor back there. And a Mr. Fusion. Miami Vice. This was the uh, the 1972 Ferrari Daytona Spider. 
very pretty car. From Indiana Jones, uh, Indiana Jones 4, right? Yeah, this was uh, one of the... Uh, the Crystal Skull. The Crystal Skull, that's the one, yes. So this was the duck that they was they were riding in. Kind of a little scene up there. This is from uh, the movie Alien. And uh, they've got not only one of the vehicles, but they have the alien right there. There he is. There's some more absolutely gorgeous cars here. Lost and found after 37 years, this was Elvis Presley's personal Cadillac. It was a 1974 special order custom coach built station wagon. And they found the paperwork on it and discovered it was Elvis Presley's. Hey, take it easy there, Kong. $2,700. They want $12,998 for that, so $13,000 now for the 72 Volkswagen. Daniel's do-it-yourself garage, that can only mean one thing. It is Christine, the 1958 Plymouth Fury. Oh, awesome. This is uh, from the Munsters. This is uh, the two Munster mobiles. This was Grandpa's casket uh, dragster and the actual Munster mobile. And there's Herman and Grandpa right there. It's not just a 1946 Ford. It's Grease Lightning, folks. And my favorite car of just about all time. When I was seven years old, I never realized how dirty the lyrics are to Grease Lightning. Right? <laughs> They really are And dirty. we sang them loud and proud. Yeah, that's right. Look at this beautiful, beautiful car. I would give anything to own this automobile. I love it with all the, the different buttons. The 1966 Batmobile. And they even have not only part of the Bat computer, but they have the William Shakespeare where you tilt the head back and it opens the the secret passage to the Bat poles. This was uh, Elton John's piano car.
and this is uh, the Johnny Cash Dragster, built like a black guitar. It's called the Guitar Car. Oh, uh, I was told there'd be no incline. I know. You're always promised no inclines, but actually nobody promised you anything. <gasps> hey, Becky, that is the actual lifeboat from Captain Phillips movie with uh, Tom Hanks. Tom Hanks spent nine weeks filming inside of it. Wow, that's incredible. Let's go look inside. Okay. Hey, it's The Simpsons. Oh, no, we have to go this way. Oh, and then when we come out, we look at that. that. Okay. Right. Look at that. Mm, that is a gorgeous car. I believe that's a 1930, 1934-4? Oh, look at all the little motorcycles and Vespas. That scared the heck out of me. I walked around the corner, he started yelling. Now all of these, if you do have tokens and things, you can ride every single one of these things. They will all work. And look, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot up there. Holy smokes. Please be gentle with these vintage machines. Most of them are over 60 years old. Look at this flying saucer one, that's awesome. I like this rocket spaceship here too. The Space Ranger. Oh, look at that one, the Superman. That's awesome, and the Batmobile. Holy smokes. So Batman would be there and you would get in the back and Batman would drive you all over or you would get on Superman's back and fly around. That's cool. The Indian Scout. While the horse would run and gallop, you would shoot and you would try to shoot the Indians. <laughs> Little politically incorrect here, folks. Some of these are in just excellent condition. I mean, this is great. This is the actual costume that Mike Myers wore in the 2003 movie. The producers paid over $50,000 to create that costume. That's nuts. And this is the Cat in the Hat's car, right here. This was uh, Michael Jordan, the basketball player. This was his Bentley, 2004 Bentley right here. And if you're a fan of the Flintstones movie, here is the actual car from the Flintstones. And the best part of this one, you can get in it. And there's Becky in the Flintstones car. She's 
Wilma! <laughs> Uh, Carol Shelby's Cobra series, the controversial race car for the street. Look at that thing. Wow. That is beautiful. 170 miles per hour. 170 miles per hour, this car. That is crazy. And like, hey man, it's the mystery machine. What's up, Scoob?